Update 3 on Cyclone Failing, which is currently located in the Bay of Bengal, approaching the Indian coastline as a strong Category 5 storm with wind speeds of 160 miles per hour and a pressure of 918 uh, millibars. Current position 16.7 degrees north, 87.7 degrees east. The storm is expected to move towards the northwest, making landfall as a very strong storm along the Indian east coast. Uh, no matter what uh, intensity it will be when it does make landfall, it will be very severe indeed, possibly high-end Cat 4, maybe even a Category 5 landfall that can't be ruled out at this point. Sustained winds of over 150 miles per hour, certainly possible in parts of Andhra Pradesh and Odisha in India. Those two regions in particular will feel the uh, full force of this storm when it does make landfall along the Indian coastline in around uh, 12 to 24 hours from now. So it's certainly a serious situation on our hands and looking at the sea surface temperatures you can see it's still fairly warm around 28-29 degrees Celsius along the Indian coastline in particular so we could even see perhaps a little bit more um, intensification possibly if the storm has its way but um, hopefully for the Indian coastline we'll see some weakening occurring before it makes its landfall along the Indian coastline. The CMC model you can see the storm towards the far left of the your image there um, the storm moving towards the northwest making landfall in the Odisha region of India India and then moving inland moving towards the north eventually dissipating and this GFS model let's see what that one says that's uh, has a bit more of a further south landfall just slightly uh, towards the Andhra Pradesh border um, making landfall in India and then moving inland uh, but either way it's certainly going to be a severe storm when it does make landfall along the Indian coastline with sustained winds certainly into the major uh, cyclone category. So looking at the latest satellite imagery you can see a very small eye in this storm a very intense storm that's certainly the sign of um, and it's curved towards the west a little bit over the past few hours and you see it's possibly a little bit of a stalling um, in the past few hours as well the eye sort of centering and just um, taking a minute there you can see um, and then likely to move towards the northwest making landfall in India but um, you can see some of the spiral bands making landfall in uh, over India right now the spiral bands overland uh, but the main core of the storm is still well offshore and the worst of the storm is probably well, at least it was to the south but you can see a little bit more intense rainfall building towards the northern half as well now in the past few hours so that c can't be good news because the, the northern half of the storm will probably make landfall first the northeastern side of the storm so we'll see how that one progresses as of October the 11th at 3 p.m. UTC this is the world tropic situation the remnants of NADA in the eastern Pacific, Invest 94E as well over there which could develop, Invest 98L in the Atlantic could develop into a tropical storm. Of course we have Phelan and we also have those two systems in the western Pacific, Typhoon Nari making landfall in the Philippines right now and Tropical Storm Wifa. Uh, so currently in the Indian Ocean right now this is what it looks like at the moment apart from Phelan which pretty much takes up the whole of the Bay of Bengal, um, the rest of the Indian Ocean looking fairly quiet right now. Uh, don't forget the whole of the Indian Ocean can get active, active at this time of year the northern Indian Ocean really ramps up towards the end of the year usually uh, well I say ramp up there's usually one or two storms um, towards the southern hemisphere the season will start to build um, in the next few months from now but 2013 compared it's the second storm to form meaning it's the joint bottom position along with 1990 in 25th uh, one cyclone so far that's this one and one uh, reaching major cyclone intensity that's 111 miles per hour or higher category 3 on the Sappho Simpson hurricane wind scale and don't forget you can track this storm at the website force13.com forward slash storm tracking dot html that's the main page for it where you can track all the storms out there in the world at the moment including invest and post tropical storms in between videos that'll be probably the most up to date place um, in between these video updates uh, with tables at the top and bottom of those pages showing their intensities and indeed any warnings that are currently in effect in relation to those storms. Obviously we have a few warnings and a few um, areas under threat right now so you might want to check out the website for any further updates throughout the next 24 to 48 hours. Elsewhere on the web we're on Facebook and Twitter to search Force 13 you should find us fairly easily enough and as always please do show your support on any of these mediums by doing the usual liking, subscribing, commenting, favouriting um, or following or anything else that you can think of. Um, and if you have any comments or uh, questions about this storm or need any others out there just send a comment at the bottom of this page or by private message if you so wish and I'll do my best to get back to you in a timely manner. Uh, the next update on this storm will probably come at around 3 a.m. UTC on Saturday morning the uh, 12th of October considering that it's a category 5 storm bearing down on the Indian coastline uh, will probably be an update on about the um, about the landfall because that will be pretty much just before it makes landfall in India uh, if the current forecast verifies but until the next update that's all for now and stay safe out there